at Sutton Park because the bestest thing ever happened and someone found our GoPro, handed it into the park ranger. I'd already contacted the park ranger on the day to say it's a long shot, but if anyone hands a GoPro in, could you let me know? Four days later, let's me know. We're about to go pick up our GoPro, so we're gonna give some chocolates as a thank you. It's a shame we don't know who picked it up and handed it in, but thanks that person. You won't believe how happy I was when I got the message and I'm so excited to go pick it up. I'm kind of hoping that someone did some filming on it so we can see its little adventure, but I doubt that happens. <laughs> Is this your GoPro? Exactly. Happiest person ever, thank you. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. Oh, thank, thank, you, thank very you very much. much. That's very kind. <laughs> We're going to go for a walk around the park now. Oh, oh my god, it's so broken. <laughs> It's ours! It's intact! It's got a 63% battery. There's a picture of the legs of the person that uh, found it. So thank you that person. Um, yeah, now we're gonna just go for a walk around the park, see if we can find the Exmoor, herd of wild Exmoor ponies again. Might as well make a little visit of it while we're here. Exmoor ponies are surprisingly well camouflaged. <laughs> can you see one? There he is, or she is. Just chilling. It's a lone pony. Gotta find the herd. Ben just said to me, it's like I've never seen a pony in my life. <laughs> I just love them. Or it's a friendly one. Hello. Okay. Oh, it's so soft. That one's quite young. Hi guys. They're so shiny. And the amazing tails are like not free. Look at them. Oh, they're all in the there's a really baby one. Oh. You can't be very old, but there's a really young one in the forest behind the holly. Hi! I swear Azid was accidentally crossed with an Exmoor pony. He is technically a pure Arab, and I'm sure he is, but he has like the same nose and leg colouring as they do in the winter, not right now. Oh, We've seen eight of them. Let the winter fencing begin! <laughs> Oh my kidding, we're not trusted with the sledgehammer. Although, I, the fencing that we're about to check in a bit over the top, I did do myself with this very sledgehammer. But seeing as Dan is here, he is doing all the sledgehammering. So we've got the kind of straining post for the temporary winter fencing. Um, just because it gets quite windy in this field, if you don't put like a wooden post in the corners, it all gets blown over because it's electric fencing. Um, so step one, complete. There will be three for five horses in this field over winter. My two living out 24 seven, Grace, Fluffy and Tizzy stabled at night. So yeah, lots of grass. I'll be very excited to come in here. Welcome to Electric Fence Corner, where we're going to take all the green tall posts for the hill field. Whoa. Okay, how many steps should we do? Ten or eight? Eight. Eight looks right.
lined the posts up before putting a line of tape up a very stressful method because you don't know if your posts are straight. <laughs> but now all the posts are in, all the electric posts are in, so now it's time for tape. And so it begins. Does anyone like to take bets on how many times this is going to come off the reel? So when it, it's really annoying and it comes off sideways and gets all tangled. Okay. No! You haven't even started. <laughs> right. I don't want any twists in the tape. Oh, this is going to be a slow process. Oh, maybe. Oh yeah, developed a new method. This is one of my old... Uh... A few moments later. So here is a prime example of Sod's Law. We've got to the very end of this reel. <laughs> Look how far it is off the pole. Oh dear. Oh. It's alright. What time bits of tape we're for? One fence down. Fluffy's paddock. Three to go. Yeah. Round two. Our pool posts. kind of in this ditch gets super super muddy like I mean above my wellies which is why I wear waterproofs over the top um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a demud zone and post across here just to save this bit for as long as possible and once they start having haylage I'll put the hay feeders in this section and it won't be as muddy um, however 10 of my white posts my tall posts are in the summer field so we're going to do 16 steps apart and infill once they're out of the summer field and into this field. Is that because two times eight is sixteen? That's because that's what Dan just told me. <laughs> a big gap. I think we could go probably go smaller. Let's go. Oh. Still got two left, we can go smaller again. Oh, that went beautifully. Happy with your work? I've split it, so it's alright, isn't it? It's alright, isn't it? Where are you from? It's alright, isn't it? It's what? this out for a winter field view me <laughs> <laughs> I was referring to the landscape but yeah if you want to stay here and keep the ponies company I'm sure they'd love that how many steps are you doing this time well we went to 10 on the other post in the end not 16 because we had more than I thought not more than I thought it just they covered more space than I thought anyway uh, should we start with 10? One, two. We're doing the last bit of tape. This is over the back of the winter field for kind of strip grazing. So we put that post in the middle and we'll switch which side is open to give half a break, hopefully a little bit more grass will grow if it stays warm enough and then keep swapping. And then when grass is definitely not going to grow anymore, we'll take it all out. Doing a bit of perimeter cleaning. Oh, 
That looks much better. Got a fair bit to go. We finished our winter fencing. It took about three hours to do one, two, three, three, four, four, four strips of fence. So it's now all ready for the ponies to go in. Um, Dan did a lot of clearing the kind of hedge line and trees back and some brambles back. I think there's a little bit more of that to do and to clean out the water trough. And then we'll have some very happy ponies on quite a lot of grass. <laughs> I was just about to ride. But as I was stacking up, they um, got the chain hair out to do the menage. So I've got about 20 minutes. So I shoved Qantas's massage pad, left him in the stable, and thought I would crack on with one of the winter field jobs of sorting out the water trough. Um, so they had sheep in the field next door over summer, and they kept coming through here. So I need to get all this out, put the lid back on this, and just give it a good scrub. and clear all that so it's ready for ponies so i've got my trusty pooper scoop which is actually really good for cleaning out um water troughs a scrubbing brush in a bucket let's go to town this is the trough now I can't see the bottom. What have you been doing whilst I was schooling? While you were schooling? I've done the whole hedge line. Yeah? with my junior shaving spark. Not really the correct tools. Let's see the injury. What? The injury. Oh, little blood blister. Look at that, it's not little, it's a massive blood blister. Fuck. Look at that. And we can see the bottom. Woo! 